Hi all, this is Abhishek. I work as a technical architect with a leading organization. I am an expert in Microsoft.NET, Azure Platform as a Service Cloud, Artificial Intelligence, Intelligent Automation and Machine Learning. And today we will see the third part of the series, Machine Learning Concept for Dummies, where we will see what a linear regression is. In our earlier sections or parts, we saw what a machine learning is, how a machine learning is done and elementary concepts like uh, uh, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning. We saw a cl clustering problem, a classification problem and a regression problem. And today we will see linear regression in detail. Okay, so let's get started. So what a linear regression is? Linear regression determines the relationship between dependent variables and independent variables. Okay, so what I mean by this dependent variables and independent variables and the relationship. Okay, so let's try to understand this with the help of this function y equals f of x or function of x. So the value of y as we can see in this equation depends on the value of x. Hence, x is a dependent sorry x is an independent variable because it is independent of nature and it can it can take any value this is also called as a predictor variable and y that depends on value of x is called as the dependent variable so based on the value of the independent or the predictor variable x we have results for the dependent variable that is y. One thing I would like to highlight here, the predictor variable or x is continuous in nature. Let us try to understand linear regression with an example. The table below shows the stock return in percent based on number of months it is kept invested. Now let us use this data set and find the best fitting linear regression for this model okay so if you see here the data points are represented in a graph and you can see a trend line out here or a line out here that passes through either most of the data points and the other uh, data points which are not touching this line seem to be closer to it so we can build a predictive model using this data set with less error. So linear regression is a good fit for this data and this data can be used for prediction. Therefore, before doing any linear regression or any kind of machine learning, it is very important to first study the data and check whether this data is suitable to be modeled or not. If it is suitable, then go ahead with it, else not. And in our current case, yes, we can apply a linear regression to this data set. Okay. Now, let us start finding the right fitting model for this data set. We can represent a linear regression by using an equation as y equals a plus bx, where y is the dependent variable, x is the independent variable. A is the intercept of the line represented by this equation and B is the slope of the line represented by this equation. Okay, so X is a predictor or a dependent independent variable. Using the value of X, we can predict the value of the dependent val variable Y. So, in our case, if we want to know the return percentage of the stock based on number of months, say like at 36 months, what would be the return? So we can pass on this x value that x equals 36 here and compute the y value provided we know the best fitting values for A and B. That is the slope, slope and the intercept. Okay. So it is very important to deduce the value of A and B to get the best fit and go ahead with the prediction. Now let us see how we can deduce 
the value of a and b b is represented by this equation that is shown here as in this equation we first find out the mean value for the x values and the mean value for the y values then for each of the data point we find x minus x min and y minus y min we take a product of it and then we sum all of the products obtained and in the same way for each of the x values we find the difference of x minus x min or rather we find x minus x min we square it and take a summation of all then we divide both the values to find b and to determine a what we do is we take a difference of y min that is y min minus b value that we found out here into the x min okay so this is how we determine b and a and let's try to apply this formula to the data set we are having and if you can see here i have found the mean values for all the x values out here that is 20 and for all the y values the mean value is 12 now i find x minus x min for each of the data point that is x value that is 2 minus 20 that is equals minus 18 4 minus 20 that equals minus 16 and so on i found all the x minus x min values and in the same way i have found out y minus y min values then i have taken a product of x minus x min and y minus y min and also i have taken a square of x minus x min out here for each of the data points and here i have taken a summation of all the product values that is 1573 that is x minus x min into y minus y min product values summation and the square of x minus x min that is the summation comes to 2503 now the next step as per our formula that we discussed here is to divide the values that we obtained from both the summations like like summation of x minus x min and y minus y min divided by summation of x minus x min square so we'll be dividing this value with this value and the result is 0.62 and when we substitute this b value and x min value and y min value out here in this equation we get the a value as this minus 0 0.43 and now our final model equation looks like this y equals minus 0 0.43 plus 0.62x i have simply substituted the a and b values in our equation this equation y equals a plus bx okay now for any value of x we can predict value of y where x is number of months the stock is invested so we have a model or rather we have deduced a model okay now we have two types of linear regressions either it can be univariate or it can be multivariate linear regression a univariate linear regression is represented by y equals f of x that is it depends on a single independent variable but when there will be other factors involved or other independent variables involved or multiple independent variables is involved it would be called as a multivariate linear regression so if you see here y as a function of x y z where x y z are all uh, independent uh, variables and the y value will depend on this independent variables okay so this is what i had planned for this module thanks for being patient and hearing this stay tuned We'll see more of linear regression in the coming videos. Thank you.